I really enjoy drinking a shot of espresso in the mornings. I like it because it makes me sharper, more focused and more productive. So I'll be able to do more in that day. And doing more is always good, right? I mean, I could still live without it. It's not something that I have to drink. But as I said, I like it and it somehow increases my performance. But this is something that works for me as a human. Now let's look at this guy. This is a Linksys E900 wireless router. And based on its hardware and software, it can provide some specific networking features. Now if I want to somehow increase its performance and capabilities beyond what it can already offer, I cannot just have him drink a shot of espresso because it wouldn't work for him like that. I will either have to make changes in its hardware or replace its firmware. But unfortunately making any changes in the hardware might not be an easy task to do or even doable at all. But replacing the firmware might still be possible. Usually the stock firmware on the wireless routers does not give us everything that the hardware is capable of doing and that's why there are some third party firmware for wireless routers such as OpenWRT, DDWRT and Tomato. In this video I'm going to show how I would go about installing DDWRT firmware on a wireless router because it might get a little bit confusing. For example I need to know where I should download the firmware or which firmware I should download in the first place. So in this video I'm going to show how I can do that and then I will install the DDWRT firmware on my Linksys E900 wireless router. So before we start I need to say that in this video I will refer to some web pages from the DDWRT website, mostly some wiki pages. So I'm going to add the links to those pages in the video description so you can check them out because sooner or later the information in this video will get outdated. But those links will hopefully give you the most current and up to date information about the DDWRT firmware. Okay, so the first thing I need to do before installing the DDWRT firmware is actually make sure my wireless router is supported because otherwise I might permanently damage and break my wireless router. There is actually a wiki page for the supported devices and another page for the known incompatible devices. So at this point I know my wireless router is supported, however I still need to know three more things. So I used to go to the router database in the DDWRT website to download the firmware, but apparently that is no longer the best and most reliable source. So I would use the download links that are available in the firmware FAQ page. As you can see there are two different types of builds. In this video I will install the main DDWRT build. The answers to the second and third questions are very specific to each wireless router. For example, now I'm going to install DDWRT on my Linksys E900 wireless router. But if yours is different, definitely make sure you're following the instructions for your wireless router. At this point, I will check the device's wiki page to know what firmware version I should download and how I should install the firmware. For this router I should first install an initial flash file and then later on if I want I can upgrade it to a build with more features. So according to the wiki page a good initial flash file for this router is this version which I can download it from here. And again according to the wiki page if I want to upgrade it to a build with more features I can use the same or newer version of K26 Big Mega or K3X build. For this video I'm going to download the newest K26 Mega build. Okay so let's get started. First of all, as it is suggested here, I would make sure that I have read the built information and also the Peacock announcement because they have all kinds of good information about DDWRT and the latest changes that might answer a lot of common questions and problems. Next I'll make sure the router is powered on but there are no wired or wireless clients connected to the router. Then I'm gonna do a hard reset. 
This hard reset might actually damage some wireless routers. So if yours is different, please make sure you follow the instructions for your wireless router. So to do the hard reset, I'll press and hold down the reset button for 30 seconds. Then without releasing the reset button, I'll unplug the power cable and hold down the reset button for another 30 seconds. Finally, as I'm still holding down the reset button, I'll plug in the power cable and wait for a final 30 seconds. Now I can connect my computer with an Ethernet cable to one of the LAN interfaces of the wireless router. And then open a browser and go to the router's web interface, which is 192.168.1.1. I will log into the router and go to the firmware upgrade page. Here I will upload the initial flash file that I have already downloaded. Now I can log into the router, which is going to take me to the DDWRT web interface. The very first thing I will need to do when I log into a fresh DDWRT router is to create a username and a password. So I'm going to do that. Now I can go to the firmware upgrade page and upgrade it to the K26 mega build that I have downloaded. After the upgrade is successful, I'll do a final hard reset and I should be good to go. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because more videos are coming soon. Thank you again and I will see you next time.